All right, I want to make a quick video. I decided to go back and try my TIG welder. Um, so I was struggling a lot with the MIG and getting a lot of um, porous welds. And part of that is because of the crud that was um, down inside uh, between, between the two pieces of material from the other side welding. And then probably sitting outside and crap gets in there. You know, and after the fact, you can clean it up, but, you know, this is kind of what you have, or at least what I have. So this is the bottom side of the in interior welds, and um, you have little pockets of crap. You know, I can wire, wire wheel it, wire brush it, blow it out, you know, acetone it, and it just doesn't get out this crap that's down inside of here. So what happens is when I'm welding, with the MIG, um, you know, I get these little pockets just screwing up the weld as I go along. So I've already done this inside corner, you know, on both sides of the boat. And I already did the outside corner here where you can see it's kind of sharp. And the welds are so bad and porous that I just end up grinding it down, doing some repairs, making back over it, trying to get it worked out. And it went okay, but it's a lot of work, you know, with the grinding and all that. So I was thinking about it, I'm like, you know, I don't think I've tried the MIG welding on aluminum since I got, or TIG welding on aluminum since I got my new helmet. So I went ahead and set up for a TIG and decided to just see what happens if I just try and melt these two together. You know, adding material when needed. But for the most part, you got a lot of material here. So it seems to be working out really good because when, you, when you're when you combining the two sides, um, you know, these bad pockets, like you can see right here, um, that I've been over with the TIG a couple times. And depending on how bad it is and how much crap is in there, it, it tends to pull it up and you can actually see in the puddle. Um, but it gets to a point where you'll be moving along and it just doesn't want to fill in. You know, there's just either still a bunch of crud in there, just, just doesn't want to flow. So there's spots like this where I'll have to grind down, you know, try and get it even cleaner possibly. You know, I've tried increasing gas, decreasing gas, things like that. Um, you know, and I was successful, let's see, where was it? Um, you know, like right here, and just taking over the hole once I'd been across it a couple times, just trying to blend it. And so, you know, if need be, that can be done. You know, and that's, and that's pretty good. You know, it's just not bad. And I, I feel a lot more confident with the weld because I can watch the puddle and see the blending and the penetration as I go along. And, and a lot of that's just take, getting that better helmet. You know, I just hadn't gone back to TIG welding, I don't think, since I got that helmet. And it's like, wow, that's actually pretty good. So then I thought, well, heck, you know, I've got all this MIG welding on these inside corners that I'm gonna need to clean up at least, because it's just sharp, jagged, crap you know and the, the wells themselves aren't bad necessarily I mean there's it's got bad spots just like everything else um, so I went ahead and tried just blending that you know, it seemed to blend in pretty good you know right right there but from here to here is just a blend of a MIG weld with the TIG and you know of course you got your spot here but it's just something I'm gonna have to deal with because of the way I did it um, but, you know, I'll have to clean that up, um, take back over it. But it's, it's, smoothing, it's smoothing the MIG down. It's, it's laying it out, and, it, and it's a nice smooth weld you know, on the surface. So I thought, well, heck, that's joining the two sides, making a bridge, you know, for strength and for porosity, it's really doing good. And there's some spots where, you know, it's pretty bad, like right here. Uh, been over that with TIG a couple times. It's just crap in there that is hard to get out. So I'm just going to have to grind that down. 
clean it up best I can, try and TIG back over it. But my TIG, TIG welding is probably worse than my MIG, but you know, I'm, I'm figuring some things out here. And you know, I, I think the TIG will actually go faster just because I'm not welding, grinding, welding, grinding, trying to get a clean, non-porous weld. You know, it's a boat. I don't want porous welds. <laughs> you know, this thing, some people may just put their boat in the river or the, the, the lake, you know, use their boat and pull it out. This thing's gonna be sitting down there in the water. So, you know, if, if these porous welds are, even if it's a really slow leak, well, yeah, well, what does that do over a month or a week? You know, so anyway, it's kind of nice to come up with a, a possible acceptable solution, you know, and just taking the TIG and working it back and forth and kind of blending it in. You know, there's plenty of material there. And most of the time, there's really not even a need to add material. Like over here, you know, this this is um, a little section where, you know, I've got this, this new spot. For the most part, I'm just blending, you know, and if it looks like it's, it's uneven, I'll add a little bit of a material, if, you know, for filler, but um, actually I think right here I was adding material. So, but heck, you know, I can basically just buff that up. It's it's pretty smooth, you know, it's the bottom of the boat, but my thought is just do the same on, on the keel from this outer hole section to the keel. Um, I'll probably go ahead and do like I said before and uh, cut out a groove so I have a line to follow. Um, but just, just TIG weld it, um, the two metals together, adding a little bit of material, you know, and, and things will work out pretty smooth. I kind of wish I'd done that on this, on this intake, you know, because you really can control your heat a lot better, you know, variable as you go along. And, um, you know, it's just a lot smoother welds. And, so I don't know, it's kind of done. I, I'll probably grind down these MIG welds that, that kind of suck. Um, I think they're adequate, you know, from both sides. I'm, I'm not too concerned about it. Um, I might smooth them up. You know, I have a lot of material to, to remove. And that's the thing is, you know, you got spots like this, you got that extra material there. Well, with the TIG welder, you can pretty much just blend it and spread it. You know, it's kind of, Interesting. I don't know if it's correct, but I really feel a lot better about the TIG welds. You know, I probably wouldn't want to do the whole boat in TIG, you know, because it's really hard to get two spots like up underneath the, the deck. Um, up in those corners probably just wouldn't, wouldn't fly, you know, with the TIG. You just don't have enough room. You know, TIG, you have to be set up pretty good for your weld, pretty open and free. So, Anyway, just thought I'd uh, mention that. Talk to you later.